Previously on Truck and Logistics Simulator. Follow me, let's go. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Thank you. We'll see if we can smash into him for fun. Yeah, let's do it, see if we can hit, hit Ruben. Or whatever he's called. He's bullying that Dave guy, look. Dave's getting bullied. Poor Dave. He's trying to deliver his truck and Ruben's giving him hell. Welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Now, exciting news. This is the work in progress. This is the current patch from uh, Simulator Games. And and, and, and we're, we're going to get to try it right now. It's quite exciting, actually. There's uh, quite, quite a few updates and changes within the game. So so we'll, we'll give it a play. So we'll go back into single player. Now, I'll just have a little look and see what else there is. No, no, no additional cars yet. Let's see if there's anything else in here while we're, while we're, while we're, we're skipping through. I don't think there's any additional models as such. I notice it's highlighting now that we can't afford things. That's kind of cool. We've got the minivans. We've got the medium van in between. Panel vans. Let's have a little look here. Let's see what else we've got. That's the one we actually own. I don't think there's anything particularly different vehicle-wise yet that I can see in there. But there is obviously that highlighting that, that you can afford or not afford it. So, so for instance, now I can't afford that 145,000. And then my truck. Another truck that I can't afford. Another truck I can't afford. Another truck I can't afford. The big sort of Mack trike style truck. Other vehicles. This one we still can't afford, which is the one we're working our way towards. And then, of course, there's the, the um, vehicles for sort of forklift trucks and loading vehicles that we've got there. Exciting, right? Okay, so let's just take, just let's just pick our car and we'll go we'll go out for a drive. So nothing changed on the daytime modes there thus far, but let's go see if we can get a load and see what happens. Right, let's start the engine. And let's change the day a little bit so it's a little bit later on. There we go. That works better. So we got a little bit better in the daytime. Let's go find a job. Let's we'll see whether or not some of the um, change in physics and a number of other things. Let's see what we've got here. I'm delighted to be in, uh, involved with the with the, the beta element of it because at least this way we, we get to see all the new stuff, the stuff that's coming, that's soon to be released. So here we go. So it's pleased to see the team working away in the background. Ooh. There's a little, that's a little, I think that's a bit of a changed sort of icon there, the way that works. So let's go get a load. I see we've still got um, fragile ones there. Let's go get a load and take this for a drive. So let's do that one. Okay, so. Oh! That flipped in the air. Did you see that? There was a bit of flipping going on there. That's terrible driving. It's fine, it'll do. Yeah, did a little flip in the air there. Went a little crazy. Okay, down we go. Should should do its usual thing. Yeah, it's trolleyed on. Now I'm sure I read somewhere about straps, so for strapping things down was, was an option. I think that's changed as well, I think the graphic for that has changed, it just feels different. It's little little silver studs, they're probably already there to be honest with you. I'm probably noticing everything that I'd never noticed previously, which is usually the way with these things. There's nothing strapping it down at the moment. They're nicely arranged in there. Let's add that trailer, and let's go for it. 
we'll check. We're gonna. I mean, it's a, it's a good check of stability and other things as well. But as I say, it's my my crazy delivery driver. This is what I, what what it is. We've got the multiplayer that's obviously um, in test at the moment, still still running. I played it the other week um, and spent the majority of it with uh, uh, somebody chasing around and kind of saying "thank you" and crashing into vehicles and "thank you." That's <laughs> what they were doing. It was quite funny, really. I was quite pop well populated servers cross 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 play, so um, you'd be able to play the, with the Switch users, which is quite good. Here we go. Oh, push the wrong button. Let's get get inside. Not noticing any major differences in control thus far, which is good. I quite, I quite like, I quite like the one thing about this game is it's quite wild. Watch this guy mount, mount, get into the motorway here. When he gets on the motorway, he'll just kind of wildly throw the back of the end of the car. See, like that. Kind of like that. I like, I kind of like the craziness that's attached to some of the, the the motions with it. I think it's, I make it, it makes it unique and it makes it something different than than the usual. I had a couple of questions in some of the uh, the comments earlier about the uh, release of the mobile, the the Android and the the um, Apple version of it. Um, as such, I haven't seen anything different and anything new about the timing of that. So, so, so all I can say is that it's it's obviously still in progress. Um, you know, we, you, you'll have to you'll have to be patient about uh, if you're wanting it for the mobile. Just got to be patient until it's ready. They're still they're still developing. They're still working on it. Little stutter there graphically. Oh, there's a car under ground, under the water, under the under. Was stuck in the. Was actually stuck in the in the, in the ground there. Did you see it? Just briefly, there was there was a car stuck in the ground. I've missed the turning. There's another one. Well, it's good timing anyway, because we're going to go back that way. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. We got we got cars that are stuck stuck floating in the ground. Probably a fix for something else, but those actually actually sort of dug into the the, the the scenery. Oh, I like. I, do you know something? That's one of my favourite thing about playing sort of work in progress rather than necessarily uh, the 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 you know the, the 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 current sort of standard because you get to see all the little interesting weird bits that that are there. I haven't crashed into anything yet. Making our way across the bridge. I actually haven't crashed into anything. That's actually quite surprising for me. Get the old horn going. I normally quite I'm, I'm normally quite good at crashing into things. So we'll do a little bit of driving. Um and we'll collect that money. If you play the multiplayer, it actually adds to your money as well, which is quite good. That's one of the worst turnings for me, that one. Tore a sign off there. So I have crashed into something now. Oh dear. That was bad. Okay. And on we go. Gonna jump into the driver's seat for a second. We'll give it a go. So we're up to 90 kilometres, 100 kilometres. There's grass through the road. Little bit of little bit of graphical glitching, it's okay. We are playing the beta. A work in progress, currently where they're at. Oh! Cars exploded in the air. Did you see it? Brilliant. Oh, I like the madness of this, this, this new world. I'm enjoying it. There's pirouettes of cars flying up and down in the sky. So we basically just have to park this and discovered the other day we just need to make sure we dump the bottom end of the of the of the of the of, the, of this into the um, parking spot. Um, so it's there's a particular angle that it says it has to be at, but I actually discovered you don't really necessarily have to do that. You just have to go like that, and you get parking bonus anyway because you've just parked it. So you've got it in there anyway. So any way you like to park it, you can park it. So it's just done. Which is a is a useful useful feature. Um, however, I'm not sure that's how they intended it. I think they they intended for you to to, to do something else. And the trees have gone from being sort of 
round to being the bushes there have gone to being round to sort of being a flat sort of you see that it's maybe well a, a demo in it anyway right okay let's go find another job there's another job over here I think we'll change change vehicle as well we'll see what we can do quite enjoyed that though because we, we had with the explosion of vehicles there as they went along There's the parking bit here. Right, we'll see if we can find a better and more interesting job within here. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is normally when you press select on the vehicle, we'll see if it does the same thing. Yeah, it changes the jobs that are available. So it still does that, which is cool, because I actually think that's quite useful. You can kind of refresh the jobs if there isn't one that you fancy. Let's have a look at own vehicles. Now, this should give me the options of all the vehicles that I currently own that allow me to do it. This is a, a telehandler, these things are called. Um, and this allows you to load a large sort of um, crate on uh, um, cargo container on the back of your, 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 your vehicle and do that. So let's see what we've got. I think we want to do one of these more interesting ones. So let's go with a truck one here and load this one up. So this is a this is our this is our um, articulated lorry. We're going to give that a load, and we're going to get this thing here. And we're going to load all this on here on my articulated lorry. So far, though, I haven't seen anything to do with straps. I'm I'm trying to think what 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 other ones we could be that would have straps on it. I don't know where I heard the word, where I read the word straps. I'm quite convinced I read the word straps. But anyway, definitely think there's a change in the sh in some of the 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 detail in the vehicles. One of which is those little metal sort of things for the straps. They're for the straps, you idiot. That's what they're for. But why? Why? What? How do I activate the straps? So strapping stuff down so it doesn't move. Do I have to click on them, maybe? Maybe I have to click on them. We'll find out. Let's try cl clicking on them and see if we can apply some straps to things to see if they, they don't fly everywhere. I'm going to try that in a second. I'm going to get the old mouse out and we'll have a little clicking on them. Doesn't That won't work very well for the... Uh, for the I'm going to get the mouse out. Right, click on them. No, nothing happens. Okay, they're there. They're there. That's what they're for. Idiot. That makes sense. I'm not sure that the concentration on straps is not necessarily the, the important thing. I like the idea of them, though, because it means you can strap stuff down and, and add something else to your load rather than just uh, having them fly all over the place. However, I've got to admit, I love seeing things chucked, be chucked out of the back of a, of a trailer. It's quite good fun. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's get this one loaded. I'm loving the fact that there's some other stuff going on with the cars, though, and the AI of the cars. I love it. I love the fact that we just saw um, cars flipping in the air at high speed. That was kind of awesome. Okay, let's reverse off here. That's us in our truck. There's our, our thing there. So more basic of the trucks. This is this is more of a, a standard model rather than anything else. So I don't think you could call it anything. If, if anything is this, this is this is the generic truck. This is the this is the truck that uh, that uh, is the, the most generic. It's also the cheapest that you can get. So let's make try to get the uh, and a couple, get the couplings together, the fifth wheel and the, the pin. Don't need to. Don't need to. And get a cup holder in here because I can see accessories in the future. Accessories will be nice in the vehicles, some nice accessories. Now, we're powering through the streets. That car actually struck me, just completely gave up on what he was doing. You're all right, move. Strongest, strongest vehicle in the world. It 
Somebody had said in the comments that if you click on the damage, it disappears. I've not seen that before. So if you uh, impact on something, you can click on the damage and it'll disappear. Not something I've noticed. But I've not tried it, to be honest, so I should, should try it. Okay. So we've got to keep, keep our eyes open for... Um, interesting uh, um, um, glitches and things like that, like cars in the ground, which you saw two of so far, and um, flipping cars, which I, I rather I rather like it, actually. I, I, know, I know that everybody will be going, that's a bug, but I love bombing bugs like that, because it's good fun. They add, they add some enjoyment to it. Rather than being sort of straight-laced and whatever else it is, they, they, oh, there's the foliage to the ground. Um, it's sort of straight-laced and sort of normal, whatever else it is. Some things really add to a game, and, and a little bit of craziness actually is, is quite good. I mean, good old, what's it called? Um, the guys who created you know, Skyrim and Oblivion and all that, they lived on bugs. Their bugs were one of the, the sort of the big things. They were they were they, they were the, the hilarious elements of the whole game. Realistically, you know, people loved the, the the craziness of 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 those of those of those of those crazy bugs. Right, okay. We're traveling through the night. Look at that. Excellent. Let's put the headlights on. It does, it works really well. It's a game I've really, really, really enjoyed. And I'm actually delighted that I've been invited to, to, to partake in the, in the beta. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed doing this. I mean, we've been up to, we're over, I mean, on scale of things, um, we are, we're pretty much at the six months level of, of playing it. So we've been playing it for six months solid. Um, I've been playing it for six months solid. Oops. <laughs> yeah, a bit late with the horn. I think oh there's a car behind me jammed in the back of my my which is the reason I can't get a moving forward um but yeah I mean I've been playing it for a good six months I've enjoyed playing it for the next six, last six months we've 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 we've, we've learned so many things about the game in the sense of what where, where where we're at um I'm looking forward to so many more updates I'm looking forward to the work in progress sort of changing as we go along so so I will keep you updated and informed as, as I I see a new and exciting changes within it I can see the marks for the straps but I'm not sure how the straps work I'm gonna have to look in the, the menu in a second to see whether or not there's an option for strapping things up Sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> right, we are blasting long road. We're gonna make we're gonna make this long run here. I'll probably call it a day for today after this particular run, but but uh, we'll 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 have our we'll have our run, and we'll come back to it next week, fresh and re 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 resolve. Probably do it multiplayer next week. I think I think we'll go pure multiplayer next week. So we will we'll we'll do that. I wonder if I can create a server next week that I can do something with. I'll have to look into that. I um, might do it the week after, but maybe if I can create a server, and if I put it in the community thing, the, the element, people could maybe have a little look for it, and if they wanted to join it, then we could maybe do something that way with it for fun, if you wanted. Possibly. Right. Okay, so we're up to 105 kilometers an hour. I love the fact that we're speeding. Speeding is cool. We're just, we're just speeding everywhere. Come on, out of the way! I love the horn. There's only two horns in the game. There's one the cars get, sort of, and the, 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 the little little pickup trucks. And then you've got the ones that make that sort of articulate lorries and all the bigger things. Which is this one. Which you can kind of make, make funny noises if you tap it. All right. We are absolutely zipping down this road. I love doing huge speeds. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed though, nothing else has exploded in the air recently. It's a bit of a shame. We're maybe not looking in the right place for explosions in the air. I love the way the cab looks sort of grey now because it's dark. It's kind of that would be that would be right as well though to be honest with you the night. 
It's everything that's purple that it was. And the speedos matching up. Yeah, they are. Look, forty kilometres an hour. So this is one hundred and twenty since max, but I think we've we've well and truly popped that before on a truck. Yeah, the speed is all matching up now. That's kind of cool. If you want any more stats from the vehicle as you're going along, um, you basically have to go outside and... Ooh, and if you click... Uh, if you look down on the bottom uh, left-hand corner there, you've got the, the map itself. And the right is the uh, the actual uh, details of your how damaged your vehicle is because a little spanner. Um, what cargo you're carrying, so there's a fragile cargo which gets more and more damaged. Um, you've got you've got the diesel or the fuel that you've got in the vehicle. This will be diesel because it's a big truck. Um, and then you've got uh, the sort of the, the revs on there as well. So it's kind of cool. So that's over there. I think that we can probably go to match the thing. I know I can just dump it in here. But if we go round this in a circle, if we can go round it, yeah, I think we can get round here. We should be able to come out right round in the right way. There we go. Well, there! And completely without with oh it says zero percent damage but I still lost a little bit. As I say, we still don't know what the experience is going to be used for in the future yet. Um, but we do know we we obviously got our money, which we're doing quite nicely. We got up to fifty six fifty six thousand. I'm tempted to give it to to, to swap vehicles again, oh. and then change the time and day, and then try and head up to them. See 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 if we can see a little bit of craziness before we finish this episode. So let's 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 swap vehicles. The car is most definitely the the way to go for 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 craziness. Um, actually, no, though, because we're gonna have the four by four. We're gonna go with the, the, the we're gonna go with the uh, the the more off-roading vehicle, if that makes sense. And we're gonna also do one other thing. We're gonna change the time, and we're gonna put it back to sort of the starting in the morning, so it's starting to do that. So let's see where we're at. Okay. Right. I want. To, I know where we're gonna go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head towards the mountainside jump. There is a mountainside jump in this game. And we're going to head towards it, if I can remember the direction. I think I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, no, no, maybe not. No, 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 not going the wrong direction. So we're going to go find the mountainside jump, see whether or not... Um, well, let's just jump it for the fun of it. And we'll just do a quick run round here, and we'll see if we can see any more craziness while we're at it. That was close. That's the outer bounds there. I love in the, the the gear changes going on from him in the in the vehicle. He, he he you'll see him change the gear occasionally when you're swapping it there. Look, his little hand goes down for swapping gears. That's cool. It's got darker in the tunnels as well. When it's dark. but that would be that would stand to reason. The lighting in the tunnels would change. It would most definitely change. Gets lighter as you get out the other side. That makes sense. There you go. It's a lovely morning. Beautiful morning. Okay, so the tallest mountain is right there. That's the tallest mountain over there. So we need to, to get our way up to the top of there. So I'm going to do some funny detours in a second to try and get up there. Because there's a jump on the top of that mountain that throws you off the top. So without a doubt, we, we're trying a new uh, a new build of this. We've got to give it got to give it the old uh, um, throw yourself off the top mountain. There was a car flew through the air there. That one there flew through the air briefly there. If you didn't see it, it was it was. If you didn't watch, it was blink of the eye job. It literally just happened. Now, I wonder if I can get up over the top of here through this auto repair section. Yep. And I hit something. Brilliant. Four wheel drive. There we go. Up we go. Oh, logs. I think they're new. Well, if they aren't, I never noticed them before. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew that was going to happen. Not, not going to crawl up that one. Let's see if we can get up the other side of this thing quickly. You've got to try that. Got to try the biggest jump in the game, definitely. On 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 a new on a new build, we've got to try different. The big jump, the big jump is is a, is a, is a, is certainly once I discovered it was here. It was just it was just like this is the this is a mission for quite a lot of the games that we played. I have enjoyed this mightily doing this this particular jump. There's like a little there's like almost like a little side road they built here. Look, that goes up. Look, it's not quite to the top, but it's this little flat section here is is rather nice. Okay. There is a part of it that we need to go up, which is not too far away from just here. You can almost see where I'm going. I'm going to try and go upwards. No. Ah! Oh God, that was close. Oh, I'm stuck on the edge. I think I'm going back down. Whether I want it or not, I'm going. Oh, I think it's... I think we're going to have to go. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can get back up. We can get back up. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We know the way. Here we go. We're back onto that road thing. Let's get up here. I think I ran into something, which is the reason why it went so badly. There, they put a rock in the way. That's not good. Oh, come on! No! Oh, God! <laughs> okay! Should we try this clicking on things? See if we can change it. Oh, it did. Cl it does actually do it. Yes, it does. It changes it back. It resets it. That's cool. Clicking on it allows you to reset the the the, the damage on the vehicle. Fair enough. So it resets the model, basically. It it, un it un sort of does the damage, but but uh, it doesn't actually undo the damage because there's still a damage on the damage meter. It just it just straightens the sort of it's like you it's like you got out of the vehicle and straightened the bonnet, I guess. Now we don't need to recover. We need. Ugh. Hang on. I've managed to break it. Right there. We're just the wheels are just floating in the middle of nowhere. Yep, nothing's touching. Oh my god. I'm at the bottom of the mountain again. There's the top up there. Let's see if we can go up this way. So this is the the, the nuclear power station also has a lovely jump by side it. It's our own personal Chernobyl. I'd like to call... I'd like to name the city, though. I, I do think the city should have a name. I think that the roads should have names as well. I could volunteer at least a uh, um, generic road. Demon Street. <laughs> just, a, just a thought, you know. Oh, God! Right, okay, we're gonna go up this way again. We're gonna make a way. I know for a fact we need to get up here. Go, go, go! Come on! Oh, that was too harsh a drive up. Of course it was. I don't know what I'm thinking here. It's not going to go up there. Let's see if we can get round the other side. Let's uh, gently go back down to where we did, where we came up. Just here. Let's see if we can find a way up 
I know there's a way around this mountain because they've got this like little flat section. There's a there's a route. They they have these little flat, lovely little flat sections. It's like they they're like they're like inviting you to the to, to the top. There we go. Look, we may have found it. They want you to come to the top. They want they want you to be on the top of this building. They want you to come up here. Come up to the top of here. There is a there's a challenge involved in getting up to the top. The one the one thing we want to do, which is get up here and and do and and sugar. Get to the top and go for it. There it is. There is a route, a proper route, which comes from the other side, which I need to know about in the future. Just gonna do that. So, um there's some nice beehives there. They look like beehives to me. Sort of like more modern ones. So there is our jump. They really need to clear the route, by the way. There shouldn't be any anything's in the way. But there is our there is our route. Um, I'm going to just put it in reverse, and I'm just going to go st absolutely straight to 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 to, to do this. I'm just going to go absolutely straight. Don't don't no tire movement, anything. That's it. Straight, 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 straight. Okay. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. We're going to try it on the new build. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Getting some speed up. We're going for it. yee <gasps> Oh, nose dive. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. Oh, I love it. Missed the second jump though. There's a second jump at the bottom. I always think that's hilarious. There's a second jump at the bottom. We missed the second jump. It was a good. It was a good fall actually. We did. We did good. We didn't do as much damage as I thought we'd do. We'd only got that bit there at the back. That kind of impacted as we went along. That's excellent. Right. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. And next week we're going to do some multiplayer. But um, I've been your host, Real Tonight Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.